How's it going guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit things health, right? How to make things have more health. So that's buildings, units or whatever. And also the site flag. So let's uh, start. Let's go to rulesmd.ini and look, search for the Soviet barracks. There we go. So I'm just going to copy the Soviet barracks header and then I'm just going to change the flag strength. So strength is strength is health in uh, rules in d.ini so if i just change this for example to i don't know nine 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 right let's give it an absurd amount of health saving it in the custom folder let's load in the map and it's always going to be in the bottom of the last loaded map launch it up and let's see if our barracks is now practically indestructible so I'm just going to build a barracks here, maybe get some tanks out and try and destroy the barracks and see what happens. Make a few rhinos here. And if I just control click this barracks, as you can see, they're attacking it really fast. Lots of rhinos and the health is hardly going down. So that's how you edit the health of anything. So any header at all. We could do the same thing with uh, the Rhino take, for example. So if again I go to rules, md.ini, and search for Rhino, All right? Uh, there we go. Rhino heavy tank. Copy this guy over here, and just paste it. Also give this an absurd amount of strength. Save the file. Go back to the CNC net client. Load in the map. Again, I just hit the arrow up key to use my latest command. And uh, the newest map loaded in will always appear in the bottom of the list. So I go there. Let's uh, see if my rhinos are now indestructible as well. Or at least have an absurd amount of health. So they're practically indestructible. Let's get some rhinos out. And uh, yeah, let's have them attack each other. So if I tell this guy to attack this guy. This guy to attack this guy. As you can see. The health is hardly moving. If I get all of these guys to attack this rhino, again, the health is hardly going down because we did give it an absurd amount of health. So it would take an absurd amount of rhinos to actually start damaging each other here. So that is the strength flag. Let's look at the sight flag for a second. So if I edit the sight of the barracks, so let's just type in sight and if I type in one, this means that when I use the amount of map that it will explore for me now is literally one square, which is tiny. I'll show you this when I place down a barracks, what happens. So as you can see, buildings do explore a little bit, but now that I change the barracks to one, when I place down a barracks, it literally does not explore the map at all. Let's try the other way around. Now the maximum on this flag is 11 actually so let's put it at the maximum which is 11 anything higher than 11 will act exactly like 11 so if I go here again load in the map now when I place down the barracks it should explore the map quite a bit and we'll do the same thing with a rhino in a second so there goes the power now let's put down the barracks and boom it explores a much bigger portion of the map this is the maximum it can explore let's do the same thing with a rhino and see what happens there so if I go to the Rhino and I give it site of one, save the file, load it in and launch the game here. Let's have a look at uh, how far the Rhino explores right now. So here we go. Barracks, War Factory. Now we're going to make a Rhino. And when I move it around, you can literally see it only scouts the square that it's currently on. So terrible at scouting. Doesn't show me anything. And uh, yeah, let's do the same thing and change it up to 11 and see how far it scouts then. So if I change this to 11 and I go back, load in the map, launch the game. Let's have a look now at our rhinos. There we go. Barracks, power, or refinery. 
War Factory. And now when I send out a Rhino to explore, it really reveals the map quickly. Really useful for scouting. That's it for today, guys. I'll catch you next time.